Montreal girl. I don't know if you can recognize me with this disguise. So, yesterday, as you do not know, was my birthday. <laughs> which you do not know. So I'm now 15. 15! I know! And you're still cute. And I got this wig from Mad Montreal Girl and this necklace from that one. The one that's... The hat. No, not the hat, but my, my mom. The insert topic one. Yeah, the insert topic one. And Once known as the Vancouver wife, her name uh, is Allison. Uh, yeah, her. Anyway, I got comic books today. Yay! Yay. What about yesterday? Yesterday I also got books, but I'll show you those later. <laughs> so today I had... By the way, what are we here? We're cute on... Comics. So I have today... Seekers of the Weird. Dun dun dun. Da -da. And <laughs> let's put the comic book ah, back. Ah, da, da. I'll have to you zoomed in on my yeah! necklace there. Um, I think that there might have been a skip, or either that, or I just forgot it about an issue, and Probably I just don't remember it. it. I don't know. But in this one, they find the last part of the living room set, and that's weird. It it makes sense if you've been reading it, and then. Some evil people come along, then some good people come along who try to arrest one of the good people, but they say that he's a bad person because he actually went to the bad people to defeat the bad people with the good people, but the good people think that he's a traitor, so then they don't trust him anymore, which is really confusing, but... I'm confused! I'm anyway, confused! That thing is a little weird. It's weird, sometimes. So you hold the book, I do this, and you go to the book. Ooh, the book, wee, weird, okay. Anyway. Anyway? Also, <laughs> I also have... Another, <laughs> another lady with what? <laughs> anyway, in this episode. Anyway. Episode. Anyway, it's yeah. episode. Episode. In issue. This, in this issue, there is Snoopy. She went fifteen and she brain go bad. I, I brain farted. I'm sorry. I'm really tired. A little kind of. You see another character that you saw in a previous issue, but like she actually talks more than the last issue that she was in, and she, like, in this issue, her, Furious. She's like being called that. She doesn't. She hates she, that. She has, she is now called Furia, as detailed in the book. Oh, spoiler! I want to warn us! She likes being called Furia now, anyway. And then, <laughs> Duh. Um, she's trying to get her name to, like, be, like, a good, like, a good name, like, trying to get herself to sound like a good guy, instead of... A bad guy? She wants to sound like a guy? That's a weird. A good superhero instead of a bad, like a villain. And a bunch of stuff and happens. fighting happens. And that's serious for you. Yay! Yay! So, you want to see what I got yesterday? Yes, 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 yes. What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? Did my dad get me? Or Mad Moon Show Man? Bum, 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 bum. This! Doctor Who! I know, right? the time. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my god, that's yet. big. It's huge. It's a hardcover. It's so thick. It's like a giant government novel. I haven't even Who's read it. Who's in it? Uh, all the doctors. Every single one. Doctor Who? Yes. But, like, it's so thick, I haven't even started yet. It's. I don't. I, I can't even start this week. I have to go camp. It sucks. I won't read it. The other thing I got was from my friend Naomi. Naomi! Or. or A.K.A. Nay. Nay? I say he nay. <laughs> and she gave me Camila Derrico book Pop, Pop Manga. Oh. oh! And it shows you how to draw and stuff. Like, here, how to draw a face. I can't draw faces. What else did you get from Camila? I got a print that is a Totoro print that is not with me right now. It's in the living room. It's the Totoro print. It's really cute. It wasn't Camila right on it. She wrote, happy birthday. Do you know why? Because it was my birthday. And why else? Because we know Camila. <laughs> yes, Camila DiRico. Fantastic yeah. artist. Yay. Her husband's not bad either. But she's cool. She's cool. She's great. We've been to her studio. Multiple times. We've played with her dog. Yes. Her dog's name is... Loki. Loki. That's a really adorable name. So, that's all for Cute on Comics this week. And... That's it. Bye. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, mm, uh, yo, design, uh, Dr. Cool.
Oh, yeah, uh, I don't feel so cool in this room. I know it's the madman cave, but, uh, yo, uncool. Geeky, I would say. Beyond nerd, it is like, uh, a grown man's toy paradise. Yeah, but, uh, we're not here for me to discuss a certain individual's collection habits. We are here to talk about, yeah, comic books. But this week I only picked up one book. Oh, so shall we get to Dr. Cool's insert title here, comic book review, yeah. Uh, it's got the white cover, which, as you know, is cool. Sex criminals, yeah. But, uh, it's a cool book, but don't let the title uh, fool you. It is not a pornographic book. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Dr. Cool, out. I'm rolling! Okay, we're good. Keep it rolling! Rolling on it's the river! Rolling. Oh, yeah! Rolling! Woo! Oh, I snuck into the mad man cave! Woo! Hey! It's me! Slim! Trap! We're going to talk about my comic book. I got one. One comic book this week, it's Judge Dredd Mega City, uh, two, comes after one, yep, Woo hey, I'm on TV, go. And because I miss my cousin, I'm going to do what my cousins do, I'm going to look at the literature. It's pretty. There's a girl robot on the thing. Alright, I'm out of here, I'm going to go and, uh, fix my hair, yep. My hair. Yep. I'm gonna play some toys first. <laughs> Bye. Leroy time. Leroy time. Yeah, I got some fan art from Shane. Leroy time. Everybody, it's me, Leroy. I know you're thinking. Leroy's in the Madman Cave. I was thinking about doing a movie review. This is where I do my movie reviews. That's right. Leroy might be back doing movie reviews. Shane, Mark, I might be back. I might be with a new person called Barry. I've heard so much about this Barry person, but I haven't worked with him yet. But uh, we're here for Leroy Time! Comic books! This week, of course, in the violence category, we have Uber! Show the book! Show the book! Uber. Not, you're, in the, you're in the shadows now. Put it back in the light. Look, Uber. Violence. Violence. Nazi villains and superheroes. Uh huh. Violence. Next book is a brand new number one. By Jason Aaron and Jason Latour. That's right, I can speak French. Look, it's the Jason book. It's Southern... Wait, wait, hold on. This language may be offensive to most, but I don't care. Southern Bastards! That's right, woo! I recommend the book. I do. I need more books. I need more everything. I need... Do I get paid for this job? Okay, do you want... I'll go find... I need myself a new agent. Hi, Shane. Bye, Shane. Leroy out. Woo! Snoopy, Snoopy. Yeah, yeah. Snoopy's here. Hey, that's right. That's right. I'm just trying to practice uh, with Mr. Capuchon's possible new hat. Or maybe this might be a different character. This might be Vern. I don't know. But, uh, hey, it's me. It's Mad Munch, y'all, man. Welcome back. It's Wednesday night. We're sort of back in the flow of things again. It's very late. Sorry, Shane. It's very late. But you always watch us in the morning anyway. Hi, Martina. How are you? By the way, for those fans of ours in Ireland, I do recommend you picked up Celtic Clan and Robert's comic books at Subcity Comic Books. There's a lot of good Irish comic books out there, so pick them up. Go, you know what? Ask Shane. Go down to Subcity Comic Books and go, hey, I want Robert's Crowley's comic books. Because, you know, you have to buy the people you know. I mean, I always encourage people, like, for example, I got to spend some time. After the last couple of shows, I did that special on Nightcrawler. I actually spent time chatting with Chris Claremont. Yes, fanboy geek out. Yes, super cool. He's a nice guy, by the way. So that's pretty much it. Oh, no, we're here to talk about comic books, aren't we? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool, you know. Comic books are good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I think my friend Steve thinks so. A lot of people think like com comic books are good. Uh... Stop by the comic book store again today as usual, you know. Talk to Nick, I talked to Kelly, I talked to Aaron, you know, Q Munch All Girl was there. It was her oh, birthday yesterday. You were at the comic book store today. I was at the dentist. 
You're at the comic oh, book store. Yeah. Wow, that. brain fart. Fifteen inches brain farting. Yep, that's right. I still don't know anything though. Yes. No, no. But uh, you know, I was I was talking to Mark at work. He was asking me how things are with the comic books. He asked me how my scooter was. Bad news is, scooter's dead. I can't afford to fix it. Yeah, well, you, you know why, right? I spent so much money on comic books, I have no money for anything else. Like a new wardrobe or anything. But, you know, not, mu not much I can do about it, uh, you know? Really isn't much I can do about it. I'm not wealthy. But I do have comic books. So we're starting off with DC this week. Ready? Here we go, DC! Oh my god, it's so terrifying! It's the flip! Ah! Ah, DC flip. All right! This is something new from Vertigo Comics, which is DC anyway. It's Vertigo Quarterly. Boy, wait, they got really creative with the cover. You ready for this? Oh, my gosh. Most boring cover of the week. But that's only the thing that's bad about this thing. This actually was a good read. There's like four short stories on the inside. Artwork's, of course, typical Vertigo stuff. It changes. It was a good read. So I do recommend if you're a fan of Vertigo and you like sort of short stories, pick up the Quarterly. It was enjoyable. Guess what we're going to do? We're going to do DC's best cover of the week next. I know, you're thinking, wow, what a shocker. Oh, no. But we are. So, Shane, you ready for this? DC's best cover. Bad Girl Annual. It's a really nice cover. It's cool. Even with the Bad Girl logo, it's still a good cover. The story itself was typical, so-so, was okay, kind of forced to have it. Now, next up, you ready for this one? Batman and Bane. Yeah. Okay, duh. I do want to point out one thing. No, look, look, back cover next week. Son of Batman, Ooh. the movie. <gasps> I keep saying, Damien is not dead. Oh, it was predictable. Ah! Okay, uh, slightly better issue than the last one. The Batwoman annual came out today. I actually enjoyed it. Makes me kind of feel like they might be wrapping up the Batwoman series, though. Just gut feeling. And, of course, Batman Eternal, more of the same. It was okay-ish. Uh, fun read. I'm actually enjoying this title. I do recommend you pick this title up. It's probably the only Batman book you could buy. You don't have to buy their Batman books with. Of course, it's Batman Beyond. Ta-da. It's Batman Beyond. It's a whole nother level, level. as Ken Peel would say. Oh, okay. Something fell down. We don't know I don't what know it what is. it is. Some, it's something. I haven't cleaned in here in a bit. We've been too busy trying to take care of Allison and 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 the and Mad Montreal girl. I mean, the cute one here. I've just been too busy doing other stuff, so we can't always get in here and we get distracted sometimes. Should I spin? No, don't spin. Okay, no spinning. Okay, she wants to spin. Spin! Spin time. Yay! Yay spin time. Look at Snick Noble. Where? Up, oh, there. up there. Okay, back to me. Okay, and Adventure Superman. Okay, once again, non-continuity DC Superman comic book. It's like the old Superman. Artwork was crap, but the story was fun. I enjoyed it. There's a trend here with DC. Some of their best stories take place outside of their continuity, such as Injustice. Okay, the art might not be so good as the cover artwork, but I actually enjoy this storyline. It's interesting. I recommend that one. Okay, uh, this next one. I, I will say I like the costume on the cover. Uh, however, I do not like the storyline. It's almost like a way that they could maybe fix the New 52 if they use it properly and do a secondary flashpoint. Hint, DC! You hear me, Dan? Hear me, Dan? Don't let... Jim, that Mr. Little Lee there, can tell you that Flashpoint's been, you know, is never doable again, and the New 52's better. It's not. You could use this, Dan. Dan, you have more power than Jim. Fix things. Take the Flash from the future. Oh. Okay, here's spoilers in here, okay? This is the Flash from the future. Okay. In this Annual the Flash, they introduce you to Wally West. That's right, fan favorite Wally West is back. But wait, oh my God, you ready? You guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you guys, I'm gonna break your heart here, folks. This is just, you know, see this character here with the black hair. That's the Wally West in the New Fifty Two. Oh, 
Lame O. Lame O. Lame also was the Green Lantern annual. Lame. And on that, I'm going to end talking about DC Comics for now. So that's it for DC. Ready? 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 Here comes the not so horrific pulling back of the peel because I want the old logo back. Here we go. Hi, welcome back. Here at the Marvel corner of the review, Marvel. Okay, the Incredible Hulk, really cool cover. It's not their best cover, but it's really cool. The Abomination is back. Okay, we'll say one thing. Uh, part of what Marvel's getting me lately is, I mean, the artwork was good, but the continuity of Marvel seems to be kind of all over the place, especially with the Avengers books and the characters that are in the Avengers book, a.k.a. the Hulk. And when you read the Avengers books from this week, it makes you think that the Hulk who got shot is maybe not the same Hulk that we know. Hmm, spoilers. Think about it. Uh, not a bad read. Marvel's best cover of the week. Ha, got you. Hey, hey, I know you weren't expecting this, Shane. Sorry, but Marvel's best cover of the week is Avengers World. I really like this cover. It's a cool cover. But once again, with the Avengers, it's like I feel like the continuity is kind of all over the place. But that was a good read. All right, uh, so so read. Uh, I know some people think this is probably the best cover from Marvel in a while, but they have a preference. Uncanny Avengers Annual. And get, here's another spoiler. Guess who's back? A certain mutant who died is back. She wears green with a white stripe. Oh, not saying much more. New Avengers, and of course, the Avengers. Cool covers there, okay? Uh... I'm happy I can say that this series is over, because it was really getting to be boring. Look, it's over. Avengers AI is finished. They've canceled the series, oh. and we'll all forget about it. Yeah. So disappointed in this series. The Wolverine 2 Origins been disappointing. It's okay. Uh, there were a couple of covers for this thing. Uh, I went with this cover I thought was better. Actually, most people thought this cover was better, too. It's the What If Age of Ultron. And in this case, the cover is the best thing from the book. Yeah. Of course, uh, these been, have been getting cover of the week, but didn't quite get it this week. But it's still pretty cool. The Inhuman card. And I must admit, this is a cool promo for Marvel. I like this. So we get to the alternates now. Now, we have a few to talk about. Uh, I'm going to tell you the best written thing this week. I actually like this, and... I even made a comment. I went I went to Nick and Kelly Nair, and I went, Oh my God, is this guy, how many comic books is this guy going to write? I got a soft spot for this guy's writing. The artwork was so-so, but it's a new comic book written by J. Michael Straczynski. Yeah, that's right. I'm hooked on him again. It's called The Dream Police. I like he. Not the artwork. I like the story. I've had dreams like this myself. Hmm, I wonder. Hmm. Good book. I recommend it. Okay, from Image Comics, uh, I normally really love this series. I'm always plugging this series, but this is the first time I think I can ever say this. I was disappointed. Elephant Man. The best thing of this issue was the back cover. I, I, I was just... I don't know. I just kind of like... Got bored. I got bored reading Elephant Man, and that is not a good thing. Because I normally love this series, and I just this one let me down. However, this one didn't let me down. Black Science. Yes, I'm enjoying this BD-style science fiction book. It's fun. It's enjoyable. There's a splash page. Oh, I do recommend this series. Good series. Okay, um... This company I've kind of up and down with. I've bashed a few times. I've kind of praised it a few times. It's a, it's a, good, it's a good week for them. Valiant. Shadow Man. End Times. I actually enjoyed it. It was a good read. Refreshing. And of course, yes, Japan in the 41st century. Ray is back. I enjoyed it. Uh, I think this might be the best Valiant book right now because of the fact you don't have to buy any other crossovers. And the artwork is stunning. Beautiful artwork. This is what I expect from Valiant. You guys ready for this? Another book that's well written. Guess what's written by? That's right, Straczynski's other, other book. Ten Grand came out today. Once more, good read. I enjoy it. The article was a bit so-so, but it's the read that I counts in this one. We're getting there. All right, from Dark Horse, King Conan. Oh, awesome. King Conan is always super cool. So I only have one comic book left. I'm giving it the alternate cover of the week. It's Heavy Metal. Woo. 
front and back cover are really good, and this is a very good issue as well. But guess what? I'm not done yet. I want to talk about something else. Shane, you ready for this? I'm going to start talking about old comic books. Dollar bin finds. That's right. I've been checking out the dollar bin stuff. Like, there's actually some stuff that brings back good memories. And this is more for the real comic book fans out there, not the speculators or, you know, the I have to have a mint copy collectors. This is for the people who actually enjoy comic books. And I know what you're going, wait, wait, hold on. I know, I know you guys are going, hold on. Wait, wait, Mad Macho Man, you didn't pick the all-round cover of the week. Wait for it. That's all i got to say. Mark, be patient. You've watched ten minutes of this already. Be patient. Shane, I love you, baby. You know you're there. Martina, you actually might want to pay attention because you'll be surprised at what I pick for the all-round cover of the week. But before I go to that, I want to talk to you guys about the Dollar Bin comics. It's really cool. I picked up these today. Okay, I picked up an old Invaders number two. And Invaders 18. I already have these in my collection. But once in a while, Dollar Bin comics are just fun because, you know what, this is back when you go back and you see how comics were before and you can get just and read them. You don't care if they're banged up. It's just for the fun of reading comic books. And for me, it's like bringing back memories. I mean, here's the Destroyer. First the Prince of the Destroyer. That's really cool. You got the old Captain America, you know, the Donar, God of Storms. This is where most of the comic book ideas you see nowadays actually started was back then. It's very enjoyable. I enjoy it. The other thing about this stuff that's really cool is you get stuff like this. Dollar comic things you can pick up stuff you never thought you'd pick up. Here's some of my Clips comics way back when. Look, it's Rio. Western artwork. Really cool. Or how about, wait, wait. Here's a company that did stuff back then. This is one of the first companies that showed that you don't have to be a big company to do comic books. I'm talking about PC comics. Edge of Chaos. Uh, you know, you know, a lot of guys that I know, people that are going, I don't know Edge of K PC, what is this? This is before Image, before Valiant. This is back when DC and Marvel were pretty much the two big companies. Other companies had come and gone. Atlas Comics had come and gone. Modern Comics had come and gone. Gold Key no longer existed. PC was one of the first companies that said, hey, we can still do comic books that aren't totally underground, alternate. We can do superhero stuff. And that was PC Comics. So credit to them. You even had companies like Tops do comic books. Lone, Tim Truman artwork for a buck. If you don't read the book, it's like number four of four. You just take a look at this and go, well, here's some Tim Truman artwork I can just look and admire at. For a buck, why not? Go for it. But how about this? You'd be surprised. You can get comic books sometimes that are in really good shape. They're pretty much almost mint. You heard me. You can get near mint comic books in a dollar bin once in a while because the one knows it. Here's a Joe Kubert story from Marvel. Abraham Stone, Joe Kubert artwork for a buck, and it's one of the old-fashioned kind of like hard ridge covers. This thing has no defects. It's pretty much a mint comic book for a buck. It's Kubert. You know, but I also want to talk about. Wait, actually, I want to talk about. I will save this guy for almost last. But I uh, remember I mentioned modern comics. How about modern comics? Old Cheyenne comic book. This is a comic book. Hey, let me check the date on this thing. This is a comic book from... Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm getting old. I'm having a hard time reading the small fine print. I can look at it. Yes, I know you can. This is 1978. Cool, huh? And you know what? The artwork really wasn't that bad. It's got that <gasps> old paper smell. And I know some people out there, like Mad Munch, all go. She loves the old paper smell. And this is a fun read. Artwork's not that great, but it's a fun read. And, well, I also mentioned Gold Key. Check this out. Okay, the cover's in horrible shape, but Mars Patrol Total War. Ah, oh, this is like pure nostalgia here. And you know what? This is fun artwork. I've seen people take these kind of comic book covers. They cut them out and they frame them. Think about it. For a buck, you can have a really cool, interesting piece of artwork on your wall. But I also want to talk about two other companies. One was First Comics. They were sort of after PC Comics. And they had a character, which oddly enough, I told Kelly when I was looking through the dollar pile that they had, say the new dollar comics they had, I was, I was thinking about this character. Because I remember when this character came out, it was like one of those weird characters that was, you know, you looked at it and you go, he's wearing a cod piece. What's with the open shirt? But it was a good series. Artwork was horrible, but it was a good series. I'm talking about Warp. This is the kind of tile that people should think about bringing back. Now, first comics was sort of like the comic books that 
company that followed PC Comics. And PC Comics had some really good stuff and some bad stuff. I mean, the most people don't think about PC Comics were comic books like Grimjack by Truman and Star Slayer by Grell. Both those series went on to First Comics and did pretty well. First Comics also had E-Man and a few other characters as well. Let me see. Hold on. Here, there's Star Slayer, for example. So that was a great series. This is the kind of stuff I wouldn't mind seeing someone have the balls to bring back. There was also Badger, Steve Rude's Nexus. These were all comic books before Image. Pretty good stuff, too. I mean, these guys took a chance. It was Howard Chaikin's American Flag. But here, let's look at this, okay? First comics had He-Man, American Flag, Star Slayer, Warp, Sable, and Mars. Mars was a girly comic book, but you know what? I give it credit because it did something that no one was doing back then. The main character was a girl. Didn't see that too much. So like I said, go check out your dollar comics. And I had mentioned PC Comics, and I saw this and I went, oh my god, I have to get this thing. It's so campy. But PC Comics had a character called Vanity. That's right, Vanity. Uh, it really was simply a character, you know, it was one of those comic books that all 15-year-old boys picked up. You wonder why. But PC Comics also did stuff like this. Pathways to Fantasies. Look at that beautiful artwork. Okay? So sometimes those dollar bin comic books, you will find treasures out there. So it's worth it. I know on RX Comics, you could check it out. They got a dollar bin inside and outside the store. I'm sure Expert Comics in Montreal has dollar bill. And I've, I've been told that Subcity in Ireland has a great dollar bin comics. Check it out. Check out your local dollar bins. You never know, too. Stores that don't have a dollar bin, I kind of wonder about. Hmm. But there's also one character I want to point out from PC, which I didn't mention before. This comic book, before anyone really got environmental in the comic book industry, even before Concrete by Paul Chadwick, this comic book kind of set the bar. Neil Adams, Miss Mystic, number one. That's right. PC Comics had a female character who was pro-environment. They also had Silver Star by Jack Kirby. So I only have one comic book left, and it's actually the best cover of the week. It's all around the best cover week. Shane, wake the wife up. This is why I told her to wake her up. This comic book cost me nothing. Aaron, at RX Comic Books, gave it to me because he's, Kelly said, well, it's in horrible shape. He was probably missing a page. This is a comic book from 1945. And the thing about this is, I know speculators would go, well, that's not in perfect shape and so forth. And But the whole point about this is, any real comic book fan, like I know Shane, you're a comic book fan. Mark, you're not a comic book fan, but you like the show. People like me and Nick and Steve are the kind of guys who like this because this is history. This is something you can hold in your hand and go, wow, someone enjoyed this before I did. I can look back at this book and go, this is a sense of history here. So I thank Aaron for this. This means actually meant a lot to me that he gave it to me instead of just saying scrap it, trying to sell it for a couple of bucks. Because this is what comic book collecting is about. This is about the true love of an art form, no matter what shape it's in. And the comic book I'm talking about, this is the best cover of the week all around. It's Sensational Com Sensation Comics from 1945, number 48. The cover. Look, it's Wonder Woman on the cover. Oh my gosh. So yeah, the cover's falling apart, it's ripped, but the thing about this is so cool, I can look at this book and, you know, see an old commercial for Wheaties, I can read a Wildcat story, they actually had stories in here, and I can see what comic books were like back in the day, so yeah, there's a missing cover, there's covers torn, there might be a missing page, but you know what, this is the best comic book cover of the week. It's not because it's free. It's because it was given to me because Aaron knows that I'm going to appreciate this. This is what comics are about. It's about taking a piece of history and enjoying it. And guess what I'll be doing with this? This will be passed on to the cute one eventually and hopefully passed on to her kids because that's what comic books is about. It's about the enjoyment of picking up something like this and enjoying it for what it is. It's a story, folks. It's not a future investment of dollars. It's not something where I have to get put in a plastic case that I can never touch again. It's CCG approved. It's about taking something that goes, wow, th I, this is in my hand. This is cool. That's what comic books are about. And on that note, I'm going to say goodnight to you guys all, and we'll see you next week.
we got two of these things up. I almost forgot this. Don't forget, this Saturday is free comic book day. And it wouldn't be fair to Aaron because Aaron's a nice guy if I didn't mention RX Comics is having a really cool sale. Here's a cool sale, right? Apart from getting some free comic books, you can get, hey, check this out. You have, ah, 50% off all back issues. In other words, the stuff in the bins, the good stuff is half off. 4% off all hard and soft cover books. And there's a lot of hard and soft cover books at RX. For you people who like trades and not individual issues, this is the weekend to spend your money. And of course, 3% off all action figures, vinyl toys, and statues, except for the ones that I've put there on sale on commission. Those you could buy and make me happy, because those funds me buying more toys. Get it? Go to RX, get some free comic books, ah, buy some stuff, buy some toys off him, give it my to Aaron, buy some of my action figures that are there, which aren't on sale, but that's good because it gets me more toys for here. And that note, okay, good night. Bye-bye. Go down.